Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Psycho Lane. I'm your host. Anyways, this video is going to be specifically about my bicycle trailers. I'm going to call this a uh, bicycle trailer accessory review. Or just trailer accessory review. I don't know. But anyways, this is about my uh, the rear of my trailer. The uh, um, lights that I have right here and right here. Which for the purpose of this trailer... I built it, or rather I didn't build it myself, I assume it's uh, rather pre-assembled, so, but uh, I fashioned it, should I say, to a way of an actual trailer that any motor vehicle would pull, including most uh, semis and stuff like that, but mainly for utility trailers. So, for utility trailer's sake, that's why I did this, because for nighttime safety, being visible to others, so I don't get run over, and they clearly see me at nighttime. So, and you guys will be seeing some nighttime videos of the trailer, and also some daytime videos of the trailer, because I do have, I've been uh, compiling a lot of uh, run-up time for a lot of uh, trailer uh, videos. So, anyways, this is what uh, I would be calling, which if a normal trailer, this would actually be red running lights. And by red running lights, I mean they're continuously, uh, continuously going red lights. So it just stays like this, and it does have, uh, I mean, these are actual bicycle rear lights, but I'm using these uh, bicycle t uh, rear lights for actual uh, running lights for the uh, trailer itself. So, and uh, it is six LEDs per uh, light, and being a bicycle actual uh, rear uh, taillight type of trailer that I decided to use as running red lights, it actually does have some modes too. This has uh, flashing mode. And then it's off. So that's what this order does. And then that's all there is to that. So, and then it goes back to brightness again. So that's what I use for um, running red lights for my, for my bicycle trailer. And it works out pretty well. So it's just a constant red. I always use the constant red. I don't use flashing lights on there for the back part. And that's something you can have you decide to use. Uh, you can. Buy this stuff at Walmart or any bicycle shop that has, uh, or even online at eBay or Amazon or whichever uh, place that you can go to that actually has um, um, these here that are actually made for bicycle uh, uh, rear lights so that people can see you. You can use that for your trailer actually as well. So that's what I use it for. So and you can use it. You can use a flashy thing if you want to. That's up to you. But for me, I'm just using it for continuous red so that way I am seen at nighttime. So that's what I have it for. So for this one, it is wireless completely. It's a button operated, so um, battery button operated rather. But uh, all I gotta do is take out the back part here. Actually, I'm gonna turn the light on my camera or my phone on. And all I gotta do is twist this. I'm actually kind of amazed that most of my bicycle videos are about five minutes long. <laughs> take this here out and boom there's the battery so it takes two button cell batteries and if you've seen the way i take out the one from my uh, wing lights then you'll know how this one works too but that's cr 2032 lithium batteries so you can find this at walmart dollar general dollar tree bike shops whatever so any place that carries batteries i think pretty much every place carries batteries so um snap that all i gotta do is put it back in there and hopefully put it in the right way and I'm not trying to show myself putting it in the wrong way, but if I put it in the wrong way, then I put it in the wrong way. I'm not exactly a genius. I do have a very artistic mind, but does not make that does not make me a genius. This is like life. Life is like a struggle. You know the old saying, the rich get richer as the poor get poorer. Yeah, well, I'm not rich. Sometimes you have to just make things fit in life. Even though it's not really fitting the way it's supposed to. There we 
There you go. It's really hard to do this one handily. That's why you see me struggle doing that. And boom. I got it in the wrong way. Let's try this opposite way. <sighs> what I'm trying to do is keep the battery inside because there's no way to keep the battery in there. And that's why I'm struggling. And that's what I mean. So. <sighs> I'm tired of struggling. <laughs> and with that, this thing is back in operation again. So, Add the smaller part of the button battery towards the light and the uh, exposed part towards the back area. So, yeah, I couldn't remember that. I'm with, like I said, I'm a couple of fries short of a box, but, anyways, I'm very artistic. And whatnot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry, I made this in an over five minute show. I actually didn't intend on making this over two minutes. I never intend on making anything long, it just happens to be that way. But, anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys uh, wanted to actually um, do something like this with your bicycle trailer as well, then there you go. I hope it gives you some inspiration in that part there, or give you an idea or two, or why not. Or if you have a different kind of idea when you want to mix it up, then more than welcome to let me know in the comments. And if you have one yourself that you decided to mix up yourself, then I'd love to see it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate the love and support, and love and peace. Until next we meet.